Hello, middle school students. We wanted to take the time to explain to you what distance learning is going to look like this year. So the purpose of this video is to share key information with you on your bell schedule, to share how the bell schedule works, and to also talk about two time periods on the bell schedule called advisory and intervention time. During distance learning this fall, there are two types of instruction that you will have with your teacher. On your bell schedule, you'll see the word synchronous. When you see the word synchronous instruction, that means you're going to be meeting with your teacher live as a class. Your teacher will be teaching you in either Google Meets or Zoom or GoGuardian, and you will be using this platform to see your teacher and see other students in the class as you learn together. The first week of school, all classes will be synchronous. And after the first week, Tuesday to Friday, will be synchronous instruction. The other word that you'll see on your bell schedule is asynchronous. Asynchronous will start the second week of classes, August 17th, and it will be only on Mondays. During the Mondays, you will go to your Google Classroom and you will complete independent work that is assigned by your teacher. So here's the middle school bell schedule. For the first week, as I mentioned, Monday is different than every other week after the 10th because we want you to meet your teacher and meet your classmates right away. So on Monday at 8.30, and I'm gonna log in early just in case something happens and messes up with my computer so I can make sure that I am on time. I'm going to log in and go to my Google Classroom to find the link that my teacher has sent for how I connect to live instruction. Then I'm going to log in and I will meet my teacher and meet my classmates. So period one will follow the time on the bell schedule. After period one, you'll have a 15 minute break to stretch, walk, take a drink of water. Then you're going to go to period three. Again, you will go to your Google Classroom, log into your period three, and your teacher will tell you how to log in to live instruction. 15 minute break after period three, and then you will go to period five. Again, you'll find your Google Classroom and log into your period five class. Then there's a short five minute break and you'll go to advisory. Advisory is a time for you to connect with your classmates and learn more about your middle school. After advisory, it will be time for lunch. So you'll take a half hour lunch. And then the afternoon time is a time specifically for getting individual help from your teachers, making an appointment with your teachers to get the help. If you're doing well in all your classes or you don't have any questions or need extra help, then the afternoons will be time for you to read and to also work on math. After the first week of school, the bell schedule is the exact same, except Mondays become asynchronous. So on Mondays, after the second week, starting August 17th, you will just log into your Google Classroom and complete the assignments that are posted in there. Then on Tuesday, you will go back to synchronous live instruction with your teachers and your classmates. So what is the advisory period for? So last year during distance learning, our students told us that they missed connecting with their teachers and classmates in person. The purpose of advisory is to build connectedness, to be able to talk together, talk about how it's going, talk about what the challenges are, talk about what's going well with distance learning and get support from your peers and from your teachers. You'll also be learning more information about your middle school. An advisory is live and is built in every single day of the week. The other special time that you'll see in the bell schedule is intervention time. So the main purpose of intervention time is to get help from your teachers. So your teachers might pull you in a small group after a quiz or an assignment to help you remediate a quiz or a test or make sure you really understand those standards or it might be for yourself or your parents to schedule a meeting with your teacher to talk about your progress. If you are doing well in your classes, you don't have any questions or need extra support, then intervention time is time for you to be reading and keeping your reading level up or working on math. This year, we have a district-wide digital library called MyOn that your teachers will be introducing you to. What is really important for you as a student? The main thing is to be on time and participate every day. During distance learning, attendance will be taken for each class, so it's very important that you're logged in and on time so your teacher marks you present. Have a designated space to work, so find a spot in your house where you can sit 
where you can attend your live sessions and you can focus. Dress for school. So during distance learning, you do not have to be in uniform every day, but you do have to dress per the district dress code. Once we go back onto on-campus instruction, then you will be needing to wear a uniform each day. Make sure you log in daily and complete all assignments that your teachers assign. If you are sick or absent one day, your teachers will be recording a video of their instruction. Make sure to watch that video. Also make sure that when you're online, you show respect for your teachers and your other classmates. It's important for you to know that during this semester, all assignments and tests will be graded based on your mastery of the standards and attendance will be taken in each period. Okay, students, so that was the key information on how the schedule worked and what advisory and intervention period are. You are now set, you have your bell schedule, you know how to log into your computer, and you are ready to start distance learning.